hi guys and welcome back to a new video a lot of you were commenting on my last tutorial saying it didn't really explain much and i totally get that so today i'm going to walk you through the full process of how to install shaders for roblox using block shade step by step with all the fixes and extra tips included now, if your Roblox looks kind of dull and flat like this, and you want it to look smooth, colorful, and way more realistic like this, then this video is definitely for you. So let's get started. First, go to the Blockshade website. I'll link it in the description for you. Once you're on the site, just click on the button that says download Blockshade now. Once it's finished downloading, open the setup file. A window will pop up all you have to do is click install. It'll take a few seconds and then boom, Blockshade is installed. Next, launch Roblox. You can open any game you like, but I recommend trying something with cool lighting or scenery because that's where shaders really shine. I'm opening this game because I know the shaders look amazing here. Once you're in the game, you'll notice the graphics look totally different, way more vibrant and dynamic. That's Blockshade doing its thing. Now let's talk about how to control the shaders and customize them. To open the shaders menu, press shift plus tab on your keyboard. This will bring up a small pop-up overlay in the corner. You'll see a few icons here, but the one you wanna look for is the cat icon. Yep, the little cat face, click on that. Once you click it, press shift plus F12 to open up your shader presets. This is where you can switch between different visual styles. There are a few presets already included and you can cycle through them easily from here. If your shader's pop-up isn't opening and instead your screen recording starts or something else happens, it's probably because of a keybind conflict settings or experiment with different combinations like FN shift tab or even using the cat icon to access the menu manually. It might take a minute, but once you figure it out, it works fine. Now, let's say you want to install new shader presets, custom ones made by other people, or by me. The best place to find awesome presets is the Blockshade Discord server. Once you join, scroll down, and you'll find a preset channel filled with shaders that other players have shared. There are some really cool styles in there. Some are realistic, some are vibrant, some are cinematic, but if you're lazy like me, I've already made a Google Drive folder with my personal favorite presets, and I'll leave the link in the description so you can grab them all in one place. Easy. To install these presets, open the shader menu again and look for the little folder icon. It should be near your presets area. Click it and a folder on your PC will pop up. This is where Blockshade stores all your shader files. Just drag and drop the new preset files into that folder. That's it. When you go back into Roblox, open the presets menu and you'll see the new ones listed there, ready to use. Now I know some of you have run into issues or errors when installing Blockshade, so let me quickly go over the two most common ones and how to fix them. First, if you're getting the error that says, the code execution cannot proceed because Roblox was not found, here's what worked for me. Press Windows and R and type percent app data percent. That'll take you to the app data folder. From there, go up one level and click on local. Find the folders named Roblox and Blockshade and delete both of them. Then reinstall Roblox and Blockshade and the problem should go away. The second common error is the debug error. If Roblox is crashing or giving you a weird debug message, you probably just need to update your Microsoft Visual C++ redistributable. You can download the latest version from Microsoft's official website. Just search Visual C++ redistributable and install it. Once that's done, try reinstalling Blockshade and launching Roblox again. And now that everything's working, I'm going to show you some of my favorite shader presets, the ones I included in that Google Drive folder. These really change the mood of the game and make it look like a completely different experience. Whether you're going for a soft, cinematic look or something bold and colorful, there's something for everyone. All right, that's pretty much it for this tutorial. I hope this helped you get Blockshade set up and running smoothly on your Roblox. If it did, don't forget to like, subscribe, and drop a comment down below if you have any questions or run into any issues. I'll be replying and trying to help as many of you as I can. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.